Hi guys, this is the History of Everything, and today we are going to be talking about the history of pandemics and epidemics. As I told you in my COVID-19 video, a pandemic and an epidemic. So a pandemic is a, a virus that spreads worldwide, an epidemic stays in like a community, a state, or a country. Now our first epi epidemic is the prehistoric epidemic in 3000 BC. It happened in China. They put the so um, it was so contagious that, and they didn't have time to bury all the dead bodies. So they had to put them in this um, village, and then they would burn. Uh, it, and it was found a while ago, um, a little while ago, because they did not have time to bury them. The next one is the plague of Athens in 400 in 430 BC. During war between Athens and Sparta, Athens. Um, God, like they believe scholars believe it was typhoid or Ebola and it killed 100,000 people. The next one is the Antonian Plague, AD 165 AD to 180 AD. So that's 15 years. And AD is after death for Christ, and BC is before, before um, Christ was born. Number four is Plague of Cypher, 250 AD and 271. So about the Antonian Plague, um, a Roman army was campaigning and they came in and you know the Roman soldiers were very tough and strong and after they had campaigning, it, they, it was said to have brought smallpox and they killed 5 million people. So that was very hard. So from 165 AD to 185 AD. The next one is the Plague of Cypher, 250 AD to 271 AD. The Plague of Cypher is to have killed 5,000 people. So that must have been a very um, devastating plague. Our next plague is the Plague of Justin, 541 to 542 AD. Now some of these have, like they go in um, ranges from 100 years, and um, some of them last 20 years, some of them last 15 years, some of them last year, no matter of how they take care of it. And it killed 10% of its population. The next one is the Black Death, or known as the Black Plague, 1346 to 1353. And the Black Death traveled from Asia to Europe. Some estimates say that it wiped out half of Europe's population. So that was very, very de devastating in the early 1300s. In the early 1300s. The next one is the Constellian epidemic, 1545 to 1548. It killed 15 million inhabited people of Mexico and Central America. It was a typhoid fever. And um, and people had salmonella, so the reason why it killed 15 million people, which is, is very devastating, very sad. Um, there was um, a drought that was already happening, so it was like just coming in, wiping out the people. So that was that it was really really sad, and really really hard. So it actually is called the Coco Leaks Tilly um, epidemic, and our next one is the Great Plague of London. Now, London had already been affected by. <clears throat> the Black Death in the 1300s. So um, the Great Plague of London was from 1665 to 1666. Fleas from the plague infected rodents, the animals spread it easy. 100,000 people died. 15% of London's population was killed. So that is really, really hard and devastating on London at the time. The next plague is the Russian Plague in 1770 to 1772. 100,000 people died and riots spread through the city because they were so worried about, like, because the queen had everything on lockdown, like, she knew, and she was so afraid that she moved the factories from Moscow because there were so many riots. Our next epidemic, or pandemic, is the Philadelphia Yellow Fever epidemic in 1793. The disease is carried by mosquitoes, and 5,000 people died. Now, the slaves, people, um, the slave owners thought the slaves were, um, like, didn't need, like, were immune to it um, because they were born in Africa, so they made them work. So they kept them working, and a lot of them died. So it was very, very sad. Our next one is the flu pandemic in 1889 to 1890. Now this is um, not the Spanish flu, but it's another pandemic. It took five weeks to become a pandemic from an epidemic. Now that's like the COVID-19 now. Um, it killed one million people. So that's really, really, that's really, really sad. As I told you, there's a lot of epidemics that have killed only 100,000 people, and then they go a big, big, like they go small, and then they all go all the way big. 
the next one is the American polio epidemic in 1916. It started in New York City, caused 27,000 cases and 6,000 deaths. And a lot of you know what polio, polio is because our um, president, our 32nd president, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt had it. He was diagnosed with polio and when he was 39. And he served for four terms from 1933 to 1945, and he had to have braces on his legs to help him stand up. Our next epidemic or pandemic is the Spanish flu pandemic, 1918 to 1920. 500 million people got it and one-fifth of those died, so that's really, really um, devastating to have all those people um, die. Next one is the Asian flu, 1957 to 1958. One million people died of it, and um, 116,000 deaths in the U.S. So that is still um, all of, um, really devastating. It's really sad how all of these people have died of epidemics and pandemics. Our next epi epidemic or pandemic is AIDS. Now, a lot of you guys lived through this. AIDS is a pandemic. Epidemic 1981 to present, 35 million people um, died, and it was a disease that um, it, it really killed people. And it is still present day, but like um, they're inventing a medicine for it. Our next one is the H1N1 swine flu pandemic, 2009 to 2010. 1.1 billion people got infected, it killed between 151,700 people and, five, and 575,400 people. Our next epidem epidemic or pandemic is the West Africa epidemic. 2014 to 2016, it caused 28,600 cases and 11,325 deaths. And, and our next and our last epidemic or pandemic is the Zika virus epidemic, 2015 to present day. It can attack infants, the type of mosquitoes in South America, Central America, and Southern US. So the mosquitoes are spread and they really attack infants. But um, the infants, actually, a lot of the infants lived um, because well, it would attack infants that were like just born and still had like, they still had the scars, the birth scars, so it would really weaken their immune system since they were just out. Is that what you read? Since they were just um, out. Now, um, the pandemic that we have today, the COVID-19, started in 2019 in December and is still current, um, April of 2020. So it is still going, but may I remind you that um, since we have like um, hand sanitizer, soap, and um, so soap is the main thing that will kill it, and you um, wash like hot water and soap. And a lot of people, like back then, they didn't really have um, all the things that we have today. So um, we can a lot we can get through this pandemic. Thank you. It is okay. We're, we will be fine. We'll have, we have ways to clean, and we can get through this pandemic together. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't seen my COVID-19 video, as I mentioned earlier about epidemic, as I explained in that video about an epidemic and a pandemic, please go check out that video. Subscribe and like this video, and thank you for watching.